Oh, probably wanted to zoom in. Hey guys, it's me Tam and welcome back to my channel. Even though I'm calling it an everyday makeup routine, I don't always wear makeup. I just kind of do it when I feel like it. So I don't really wear primer. I just do put on some lotion on my face to get my face ready for my makeup. I just recently got this. It is the Mary Kay CC Cream Tinted Moisturizer. So I am in the shade Deep and so I'm just gonna, and it's like one of those cool little puff ones. It's also like my Tarte Shape Take Foundation. Basically a tinted moisturizer is just foundation but like it has sunscreen in it. That's why it's called CC Cream because it has sunscreen. So to wipe my face and to blend it all in, I go with my Beauty Blender and I use the, the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I just give it a few squirts on my Beauty Blender and then I start. I love tinted moisturizer because it's basically like a foundation. It blends in really well with my skin. Um, the one thing I don't like about this Tarte Shape Tape foundation is I like how it's full coverage, just like this. But um, even though it's my shade, it kind of makes me look orange, which is really weird. Like the one thing I love about this Mary Kay product, um, and you guys should definitely go get it if you like, is that it blends in so well to where it doesn't even look like I'm wearing any. But it's really cool because my mom is a like person who does the makeup business in uh, Mary Kay, so I can get access to makeup stuff. School, it's like high school is so much different from middle school. In middle school, it's like if you didn't do something and you just turned it in, like how, like if you barely put any effort into it, you could still get an A. Middle school is so easy. In high school, if you do something like that, um, you get an F. And your grade drops so much. So after I'm done with my tinted moisturizer, I go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Powder. This powder is really cool. I am in the shade Deep Sand and it really I do it all I do it after it because it kind of tones my face because it helps and it kind of mattes my face because it's a little glossy from the um, um, tinted moisturizer because inside of the tinted moisturizer like I said there is sunscreen so this helps relieve the gloss so once I'm done with that I go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer I love this. This is like really good concealer, but it is really expensive. I got this at Ulta. It gives it away at Ulta, all the Tarte products. Um, I, I also really want to get the Bare Minerals concealer because that's also really good. I go under eyes like that. And the one thing I like about this is it smells so good. So then I put it on my chin and then I put a couple splashes on my forehead. And that's all where I put my concealer. So once that's all blended out, I go in with the Contour Wet n Wild. Most of the Wet n Wild products are really good for a cheap price. And this, instead of buying like one of those big contour palettes or uh, just some like a lot of contour in general, this really is good. Guys, okay, so I'm done. I'm just gonna walk around like that. You like it? I already have a jawline enough, but like I still like to, uh, you know, poke it out. So, yeah. And then I just blend this in with my rest. Boom. Once that is done, I go in with the Maybelline New York Fit Me Blush in the shade Pink Rose. And I use this tampered highlighting brush that I got at Target, but uh, I don't really use it for highlighting. I use it for blush. The one thing about this blush is that it's really light, so you can't really tell. So you kind of have to add a couple more layers if you really want it to be um, bright.
Okay, so next I am going in with the Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, I also go with the, this fan brush. So I could put it on my cheeks, on my nose, and like right here in my nose. And like the leftover stuff, I put it above my eyebrows. I'm gonna do this off camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my highlighter, I did my nose, and I didn't think I was gonna do the, like the little, I don't know what they're called, the little corner, but uh, I ended up doing my corners. I think this one got a little too much on it though. So, uh, but uh, yeah, that's how I did my highlighter, and I got like the sides, so I think that's pretty good. And I did my Cupid's bow, which I didn't think I was gonna do, but you know what, I tried it, so what you gonna do? Next is my eyebrows, so. I was rambling on so long about my stupid eyebrows. To sum it all up, I do my eyebrows with eyeshadow because it's so much easier than buying a big product. God damn, is that so hard? I don't know why this one's darkened than the other. Because you did your eyebrows bad. After that, I'm gonna use my setting spray, my next setting spray, and just spray my face. So this is when I start my eyeshadow. But today I was given this, another Mary Kay. Um, and no, I'm not sponsoring Mary Kay, but I was given another Mary Kay little thing, and it's a tester, and it's a little eyeshadow tester, and here's my little eyeshadow brush, and it kind of gives you, this is an angled eyeshadow brush, but it kind of gives you, like, little directions on what you can do, so, like, these are numbered, and these things have little numbers on them, like, one, two, and three, and that's how you can, like, put these little eyeshadows, or one, two, I'm going to go with the first one today and just do the one and two, and or you can start going fancy with it and do these two, but I don't know if I'm that good with uh, eyeshadow yet, so uh, I'm just going to go with this, which I love the little testers because you can totally get to see how you like it and if you would want to buy the actual product. Let me just tell you, this eyeshadow, it's so freaking cute! Like, it's so natural, and it just has, like, if you guys can tell a little bit, it just has that perfect shine. And I love that. Oh, I just love it so much. Now, for my favorite part of makeup, the mascara. Um, I use the Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. I think the best part of makeup is definitely doing the lashes. Boom! And just like that, your makeup is nice, pretty, and done. Now, we just do the little cool hair flip thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, I am done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And hit the subscribe button. And push the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And I hope I helped you guys. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.